Hello children, now today we're going to focus on word problems and we're going to learn how to draw a model for times as many as questions involving three quantities, three numbers. Okay, let's get started. Now, first of all, how are these numbers related to each other? You may pause this video and take some time to think. Okay, now you may say 160 is twice as many as 80, or 80 is twice as many as 40, or 160 is four times as many as 40. And all of this will be true. These are the relation that you can see between um, each other, each of these numbers. You can also use, you can also say 160 is 80 more than 80, or 80 is 40 more than 40, 160 is 120 more than 40, and so on and so forth. I'm giving you more examples than you, you probably need to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, you can also say all together, they make 280. Understanding how numbers are related to each other is the key in many of such word problems. Okay, so let's draw a model to represent them. 180 is twice as many as 40. Sorry, 80 is twice as many as 40. So this will be 80. Well, this will be 40. Right? And 160 is twice as many as 80. Now, if I were to erase this, And you will see, now 160 is over here, is twice as many as 80. Okay, and you can see that all of them have the same unit. Okay, so let's look at some questions and see whether we can solve them and learn how to draw a model for them. Now, Ada has two times as many cards as Brendan. Clean has four times as many cards as Ada. When we see times as many as, immediately we want to draw a model. Okay, I'll repeat. Our rule or our tip does not change. It is still very useful whenever you see times as many as to immediately draw a model. I'm going to give you part of the question because this part of the question is enough for us to draw a model. Okay, so let's start. Ada is two times as many as Brendan. So I want to underline Ada and Brendan. Let's draw a model for Ada and Brendan. Okay, so I've drawn two units and one unit. Ada has two times as many as Brendan. Make sure you label, then that's called drawing the model. Okay, now let's use a different color. Clint has four times as many cards as Ada. Let's look at Ada. Ada has two units. What is four times of two units? Eight. Eight units is four times of two units because eight is four times of two. One. Two, three, four. You notice I'm drawing it longer because I want to make sure they are the same length as Ada. Ada is this entire is long is a long rectangle. It's a long rectangle. That's Ada. Now what I'm going to do is to make all of them have the same unit. Okay, so I'm going to break every um uh unit into two equal units just like uh, Ada's one has been done to show eight units all right so I see eight units is four times of two units which is what Ada has and two units is two times of one unit which is what Brendan has okay 
Now my model is almost complete. I just need to put in some numbers to be able to understand what is one unit. Aha, now I have a question. I have another information. Let's use another color now. Ada has 100 cards. So I know that this is 100. Right? Now I can put it over here. This is 100. So I can, from my model, I understand that two units in my model is equals to 100 cards. Now, you should know that we can find one unit and that will be 100 divided by 2 and that will be 50. But 50 is not the answer. 50 is the key to finding the answer for any question that they may ask. For example, if the question were to ask, how many does Clint, how many cards does Clint have? Or well, Clint has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units. So Clint will have 8 times 50. If they were to ask, how many cards does Brandon have? Brandon has 1 unit. So that's 1 times 50, which is 50. How many more does clean uh, how many more cards does Clint have than Ada? Oh, that's easy. It's a difference. That is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times fifty. Okay, I believe you get the idea. Let's try another question. Ada has four times as many as Brandon, as many cards as Brandon. So let's draw a model. Now we want to draw four times. Two, and that's four times, okay? And remember the label, Ada, Brandon. Brandon has two times as many cards as Clint. Oh, now we see that Brandon over here has two times as many card, uh, cards as Clint. So I will need to divide Brandon into two equal parts. Okay, let me do a better job. Okay, and Clint will be equals to one of these parts. Now, what we must do to Ada as well is to break each unit into two equal parts. Just now Ada had four units. Now Ada has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units because we have broken them into two equal parts each. Okay, so our model is drawn. Again, we just need an additional information to know what is one unit. Okay, next one. Ada and Brandon have 90 cards all together. Ada and Brandon, from my model, Ada and Brandon, how many units are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 units. So I know that 10 units is equals to 90 cards. Ah, now one unit is simply 90 divided by 10 equals to 9. Now I can solve any type of question, okay? So if I were to ask you, how many cards does Brandon have? Can you tell me? Well, if you said 2 times 9, that is correct. How many cards does Ada have? Well, if you said 
8 times 9. That is correct. Okay, great. Now let's continue to another question. Ada has two times as many cards as Brendan. Again, let us draw the model. Okay, let's get very used to drawing models like this immediately. Good training. Clint has five times as many cards as Brendan. Brendan has, sorry, I forgot. Let me use a different pink color. So Clint has five times as many cards as Brendan. Now Brendan has one unit. How many units must Clint have? Five times of one, that is five units. So one, two, three, four, five. Take note that each of these units are the same size. Okay, so I've drawn the model. I just need a new information, an information to put into the model to find what is a one unit. Okay, see, Clint has 120 more cards than Ada. All right, let's see. What is the difference between Clint and Ada? Clint has five units, Ada has two units. So this is the difference that we are talking about. How many units make up the difference? One, two, three. How many, uh, what is the difference? The difference is 120. So we know that three units is equals to 120. And so one unit be equals 120 divided by 3, and that is 40. Okay? And so, how many cards does Clint have? Oh, that will be... Let me put it here. 5 times 40. How many cards does Brandon have? Oh, Brandon has one unit, so 1 times 40. How many cards does Ada have? Oh, one, two, two units. So two times 40. How many cards do they have all together? Oh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units all together. Eight times 40. Okay. So for this question, the given information is the difference. All right, so for the difference, you need to know what does difference mean. Last question. Brandon has four times as many cards as Clint. Let's draw a model. Brandon and Clint. Next, Brandon has two times as many cards as Ada. Now, Brandon has four units. If Brandon has two times as many cards as Ada, can you tell me how many cards must Ada have? How many units, sorry, must Ada have? Well, if you said two units, that is correct. Because 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. Okay, so Ada has 2 units, or Brandon has 4 units. And this way, Brandon has 2 times as many cards as Ada. I've drawn the model again. I want to find what is 1 unit. Oh, again, we have a difference. Clean has 10 fewer cards than Ada. Clean has 10 fewer cards than Ada. This is where Clean has 
So and this is the difference. So very clearly we can see that this has a size of 10. One unit is equal to 10. This way I can find how many cards does Brandon have? Brandon simply has 4 times 10. Clint has 1 times 10. Ada, 2 times 10. Altogether, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 10. Okay, pretty simple. Now, some of you may have this question in your mind. Oh, Mr. Tan, didn't you say that we will see fewer than or more than we should draw a model? Then if you see two times as many cards, you also draw a model. So if you see this, all these three information all together in the question, where do we start? Okay, so this is a good question. Where did we start in the past few examples? You notice that we always started with the times as many as before the fewer or more than information. We always start to work with this information before the fewer and more than, okay? This is a, a tip, or rather, it's a useful um, order to follow. Try to imagine, let's say if I were to use the other way, you may come into more problems, okay? Let me use a different color and show you what I mean. Clint, Let's say I start from here. Clint has 10 fewer cards than Ada. I will draw a gun model. I show this to be 10. And Clint has fewer, Ada has more. Now, then I go to Brandon has 4 times as many cards as Clint. Brandon has 4 times as many cards as Clint. So, Brandon. Let me use another color. Brandon has four times as many cards as Clint. So Brandon would have one, two, three, and four. Now, Brandon has two times as many cards as Ada. And now you'll be you'll be having to reason with uh with yourself for this question. How does Brandon have two times more, uh, as many cards as Ada. If you can see it, that's very good. If you cannot see it, then it'll be a little bit tougher. Okay? So, what do I mean by if you can see it? This is four units. So, our reason that Ada must have two units. Then, I see that since Ada has one unit, and 10, so 2 units is equal to 1 unit and 10, so 1 unit must be 10. Well, you have to reason it out like that, okay? Now, if you find that this is very difficult to follow, then I think it is much, much more um, efficient and faster um, to so, I have to draw a model using the times as many as information first. Okay? So, I hope this helps. Please practice drawing the model. Practice and practice and practice. Okay? Have a good day.